Hi everyone, we are here at Snowflake Summit. I'm super excited to be with Anurag Tandon, VP Product at Neo4j. Anurag, welcome to the Ravit Show. It's your debut. Thank you, Ravit. I'm glad to be here. So, so excited to have uh, for the conversation. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I've obviously spoken to the new, larger Neo 4J team and uh, have had like uh, amazing insights. Uh, but today, I am specifically wanting to learn about the announcements that you all have made here, uh, the partnership that you all have with Snowflake, uh, and uh, much more uh, what's happening in the data and AI world too. Absolutely. Um, just to start with, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more sure, about what absolutely. you do at Neo4j? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm Anurag, I am the VP of product for yep. our experiences and yep. how our users utilize the database underneath the covers. So uh, there are a lot of different uh, tools that we have and drivers and connectors that, yep. that people use. So that's uh, my area of focus. And I'm excited to be here. It's my debut here at the Snowflake, Snowflake in, Summit. At the Snowflake nice. Summit and at the show. At the, so excited. Yeah, really excited. Yeah, uh, and I know for a fact where you all uh, recently, you know, uh, announced about the graph analytics for Snowflake, and it is GA now. It is. So uh, kind of curious to learn a little about uh, if you can walk us through how it looks like for the joint customers, but uh, also why is this the right time to launch it? Absolutely. Uh, so Snowflake came out with their Snowpark container services as an as an offering, and we jumped on uh, the bandwagon to kind of understand how can Snowflake customers keep their data where it is and take advantage of new kinds of workloads that they can run that may not be available natively within Snowflake. So we thought that graph analytics, obviously, we have been at graphs for uh, a number of years, 15 plus years. Uh, and the connectedness of the data drives a lot of insights. Right. Snowflake being the data platform where you ha the customers are storing lots and lots of their data, True. it makes natural sense for uh, them to get uh, advantage of graph analytics on top. So we jumped on the bandwagon, we uh, did a private preview, uh, and we got 50 plus customers excited to try it out. Wow. And we are like, oh, this, is, this makes so Massive. much sense. Yeah, exactly, so it was so much validation of what we are trying to do, so uh, yeah, and now now we're here at GA. I love it, and now I understand why it is important, the timing as well. So thanks for sharing that, uh, Anurag. One more quick question I have is around the same partnership itself. How does combining Snowflake's data platform with Neo4j's you know, graph analytics capabilities unlock new use cases? And uh, also, how, uh, you know, how do you think that wasn't possible before and now it is actually possible? So, I think there's a combination of new use cases plus advancing, making the existing use cases right. uh, more easy, more, more uh, or and adding productivity, right? Yep. So, for example, uh, in Snowflake, folks are storing their data in tabular fashion most of the time, right? Um, but when graphs, you want to have the relationships uh, 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 and the connectedness uh, of the data to shine and to really drive the insights. So, f for us, it was really about how can we make onboarding of a customer to use graphs very, very easy. The, the, the challenge that we've seen most of the time with graphs is people have a tabular and relational mindset, so graphs are so a, a little harder yeah. to grasp. So we were like, okay, we can take advantage of SQL, which a lot of people understand and use all the time, and we can take advantage of their data that is already sitting in tabular fashion, Right. But make it so easy that it's effortless for them to really just kind of use graph analytics on, on, on um, in, inside of Snowflake. So our workload, our app, runs natively on Snowflake. It has a SQL surface, and it requires no data movement into Neo4j's graph database. You don't even need the graph database right. uh, from us, but you get all the goodness of graph analytics inside of Snowflake environment. And that's really what got, got us excited about trying I love out. it. Uh, and uh, what do you think are the customers uh, feeling about this? Are they excited? Uh, are there any specific industry use case that you would like to highlight? Uh, you don't yeah. have to name the companies, but No, yeah. no, I, I mean, I'm happy to name the companies as well. Like, uh, there is uh, Audience Equity, who's uh, one of our great partners, and they've been working with Graph Analytics for a long time. Uh, and they were excited because they were like, we can take 20 different sources that we are storing in Snowflake right. and then immediately have access to it rather than having to move all of this data into Neo4j. Right. In terms of use cases, they span the gamut, right? Different industries, different kinds of use cases. Um, our bread and butter is always uh, fraud detection, social network data, uh, identity and access management, entity resolution. Yep. Entity resolution seems to come up often. 
uh, amongst a lot of uh, people important. because they, yeah. it, it, no matter which kind of industry you're looking at, people are always trying to make sense of data that might not be the cleanest yeah. in their yeah. environment, right? So and true. so uh, they're using graphs to kind of make more sense out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think uh, those are fantastic insights and uh, Graph is really, you know, uh, I think uh, in the last three, three and a half years, I've seen uh, Graphs has been the capabilities and, you know, what uh, even the enterprise leaders, they're so excited about it and they want to, you know, just do so get much more into graph as well. Yeah. So that's fantastic. Uh, another quick question for you is, uh, as data ecosystems become more connected, how do you see graph analytics evolving? What role do you feel like Neo4j and Snowflake will have together as well? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so I think in the, in the age of AI, things are moving so fast. What remains really true uh, is the context is very, very important. Very important, right? true. And when it comes to context, uh, you know, graphs can add context like nothing else. So we have these different patterns for retrieval, right? Like you have to ground your LLM because you want to give it your enterprise data so they can really give you good answers. So these retrieval patterns that are called RAG, for example, retrieval augmented generation, has become really popular. Now we've come uh, with our pattern, which is basically really just taking RAG and using graphs. And we call it graph RAG, but it's the idea that Graphs can really help add a lot more context, and if you have built knowledge graphs on top of your data that might uh, be sitting in Snowflake in, in your lake houses, uh, the more data that you can feed your graph, the better the context and the better the insights that you can get out of it, right? So now when you run graph analytics, you can store that context back into Snowflake, and now whatever AI you're putting on top of your Snowflake uh, data uh, ecosystem becomes much more smarter Love it. because uh, of the additional, the richness of the context that yep. you can uh, get out yep. of graphs. So that, I think that's that's where we see uh, us playing together very nicely. I love it, and uh, that's like a fantastic joint partnership that you'll have. In uh, I'm pretty sure the customers are excited already. They are really, really super excited. Like uh, we can't stop having conversations here uh, <laughs> at the conference and yeah. uh, really excited to see where the customers are going to take this. I love it. And one last question for you, uh, Anurag, is about in next three to six months, what do you see in terms of the space evolving? Uh, because I'm not going to even say 12 months anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're moving at that pace, right? Yeah. Uh, where do you see the space moving? I, I think for, uh, when, when, you, when it comes to you know AI space, it's really about taking uh, projects from prototyping stage and into some kind of production so you start to realize value. We, we keep saying, you know, 2024 was, was the year of experimentation and 2025 is the year where things actually have Happen. to hit ROI. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and that's, that's where we see a lot of the organizations now progressing towards where, you know, the promise of AI is there, they just have to go and take it, right? Uh, so that's what that's what we are hoping for. I love it. Uh, Anurag, uh, thanks for sharing all the great insights. Thanks for visiting the Ravid Show. We'll keep the conversation going. Absolutely. I can't wait to always learn more and more things that uh, Neoforge always, you know, comes up and launches. Uh, but uh, we'll keep the conversation going. Absolutely. And, uh, Looking I forward promise. to the encore. Yes, uh, <laughs> and if folks want to follow you, they can do it on LinkedIn. They can do it on LinkedIn. Uh, they can reach out to me, Anurag Tandon, and uh, at, uh, you know you can find me with Neo for J. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Anurag. Such Thanks a pleasure so chatting with you. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Thanks.